Welcome back to Shems. The trenches for the house foundation and footings have been dug out, and now we begin building the forms for the house foundation. First, we use the laser to find the highest point for our house elevation reference. We're placing this house 15 feet from the property line. The minimum setback requirements are only 5 feet from the sides of the house and 20 feet from the front of the house. Our property line is way over there. It's at 15 feet from the house. So when the inspector gonna come, he gonna run the tape measure 13. 13 plus 2 is going to be 15. Since we have a large enough lot, we're doing 15 feet on each side. So our first corner of the house is where the 15 and 20 foot setbacks meet. This is a, our finished floor. See, it's a variety of money. Okay. We then find the other corners of the house, and of course, we square the house. Now let's calculate the rise and run. 43 feet. 43 feet rise. Rise, yep. And we got 40 feet. 40 feet run, run yep. a diagonal. I got you. 58, 8 and 3 quarter. All right, we have all our lines ready. Time to build the forms. First, we build the outside wall of the form. This stake called upriser. It, it holds up and down. And this one is a kicker. It holds from uh, my form from left to right. And then we cut it 12. Then we set all the rebar in place and close it off with the inner perimeter wall of the foundation forms. Rebar holds the concrete together. You won't pass inspection without it. So install the rebar inside the foundation forms and in all your footings. Go on the bottom. On the top. Boom, cut. Boom, cut. The spear gonna be holding a weight, lots of weight. So that's why they make a footing. And usually the spacing eight inches is gonna be heavy load. To prevent the forms from bowing out, we add spacers called wedge ties. They have a dual purpose. One, they accurately hold a six inch space between the inner and outer board. And two, they help prevent the concrete from pushing the boards outward. We attach them on top with nails or screws. We also install them on the inside between the boards of the forms, and we hold them in place with little anchor wedges. The wedge ties are placed every six feet for desired performance. Place all your anchor bolts as required, and don't forget to install the ground. Okay, we are finished with building the foundation forms for this house, and we are now ready for inspection. This house is on a slope, which calls for an experienced team. There's no room for mistakes here. For this house, the foundation steps down, and the height of the finished floor will be raised to level with what's called a pony wall. 
pony walls save you money. Thank you for joining us again and check out our other videos.